Do you ever worry? Do worries ever overtake you? Do you worry about our future? Do you worry about our country? Do you worry about our world? Gosh, do you worry about your family, your kids? Do you worry about your job? Do you worry about your personal safety? Do you worry about your, your families, uh, your kids, their marriages? Uh, there's so many different things that we can just worry about and, and it, can, it can overcome. Do you worry about someone's gonna find out that deep secret or this, these habits you've been trying to kick and you're trying to change the way you eat or what you do and, and, and you just can't seem to get over it? Uh, what about your finances? Do you, do you worry about the finances, uh, yours personally or someone else's, your businesses? Gosh, there is no shortage of things that we can worry about. Um, and when we feel like we are, we are really caught up in something and nobody knows, nobody cares, nobody understands, it's really tough. It can become crushing, it can become burdensome. Worry can just paralyze us, it can depress us, it can destroy us. Um, thank goodness we have a God that cares. There's a verse in the Bible, I love it. It's 1 Peter 5, 7, and it just says this, cast all your anxieties, all your worries, all your fears on him, on Jesus, for he cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for me. He cares for you. And it doesn't just say he cares. He says, it's saying cast. You know, like when you're fishing, you just throw it. You, you want that, that bait, that hook to go as far as it will go. Cast it away. He's saying, cast your anxieties. Throw them on me. Let me take the load. Let me help you through them. Let me bear the burden. Jesus tells us to take his yoke um, for it is easy. Because why? He wants to carry the burden. So why don't we do that today? Why don't we just simply take a moment and say, Jesus, look, I want to cast all my worries. You know what's in my mind. You know the things that are eating at me. I want to cast them on you. I want to leave them with you. I trust you. I believe you can work them, work them out. One of my favorite songs, which happens to be in the Salvation Army songbook, is, is a song called Someone Cares. It was written by General Gowans and, and General John Larson, and it touches my soul. And I'm gonna read it to you, I'm gonna read some of the words, but as you do it, I hope you hear that God understands you, that God cares, that he knows the situation you're in, that he is close beside you, that he sent people around you to help you. He wants you to know there is hope. Um, but in all of that, God also wants to know that he wants to use you to be a blessing to others. Um, so I want you to experience God's overwhelming love today. And I want you to have an opportunity to share God's overwhelming love today. So let me read you this song. It's a beautiful song. Do you sometimes feel like no one really knows you and that no one understands or really cares? Through his people, Christ himself is close beside you. And through them, he plans to answer all your prayers. Someone cares, someone cares. Someone knows your deepest need, your burden shares. Someone cares, someone cares. God himself will hear the whispers of your prayers. Whisper your prayer today. He is listening and he is waiting. God bless you.